Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to propose a toast to the 21st Amendment, the O'Banions, and to unspeakable abominations. Cheers. Cheers. Tonight on Optimal Play, we are going clubbing. Our search for the professors continues in Arkham Horror, the card game's Dunwich Legacy campaign, with the House Always Wins scenario, where we are heading to the Clover Club Speakeasy. Before we get started, we have some pre-partying to do. At the university, we got a little sidetracked from rescuing the professor there, but we did warn a bunch of students about an experiment on the loose, and we earned four experience in the process. Yeah. Right. So uh, why, don't you, why don't you go around and talk about how we spent them? Anne. Cool. I updated my beat cop, and so he has more health, and he can protect me against more damage. Awesome. Scott, what'd you do? Uh, I added a permanent card called Streetwise, which uh, lets me spend more for lore and evade checks. So I just spent a couple resources and uh, I get a big boost, which will be nice. Sweet. Uh, and my name is Brandon. I uh, I took I took a little bit of a risk. <laughs> Ursula loves relics, and so I took Sharon's Oval, which gives me two bonus experience at the end of every scenario for the rest of the campaign. But if I'm ever defeated, I am dead. Entirely. <laughs> Instantly killed. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing we don't want you to fight. Yeah, remember how... Like, <laughs> Run away! Remember how last time I was just pleading for protection the whole time? Like, that is going to be... <laughs> doubling up on that now. Yeah. You can always see our full decks via the links in the video description to our, our decks on ArkhamDB, so check them out if you want to see everything we're playing with, and feel free to hit the subscribe button while you're down there. <laughs> That's good, I like that. That's it. <laughs> All right, well, why don't I sit down my drink and introduce us to the scenario. The house always wins. Dr. Armitage suggested you track down his associate, Dr. Francis Morgan. Frank, for short. <laughs> he's not sure whether Dr. Morgan is in trouble, but he's not particularly happy with his colleague's present choice of company. He's in the Clover Club, a notorious gambling joint somewhere downtown. Finding the club's exact location isn't easy. You have to grease a few palms just to learn which of the downtown restaurants operates as the club's front. That restaurant is La Bella Luna, a somewhat upscale Italian eatery by the theater. You change into your Sunday best and make your way there. In front of La Bella Luna stands a man in a pinstripe suit who sizes you up as you approach. Enjoy yourselves, he says with a snake-like grin as he holds open the restaurant's front door. <laughs> Scott, would you check out the agenda we're starting with? Sure, it's this one. Right? It is. You know, I could really go for a nice pasta dish right now. <laughs> Just, <laughs> maybe we'll find some in here. <laughs> the Clover Club. You have entered the Clover Club Casino in search of Dr. Morgan. The club is bustling at this late hour, filled with patrons looking to relax and drink, or make it big. You don't appear to be in much danger. Each criminal enemy gains aloof and forced. If an investigator deals damage to a criminal enemy, immediately advance. Right, so surprise, this speakeasy run by a mob family has some criminals in it. But for now, they're not on to us. They're, they're aloof, but if we decide to pick a fight with them, it's going to speed up all the, uh, you know, there, there are going to be consequences. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with the locals. Yes. <laughs> Got it. Maybe uh, keep the beat cop outside. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so. Yeah. Uh, and would you take a look at the, um, that? Sure. Beginner's luck. You need to find Dr. Morgan. The club is packed. Perhaps somebody knows where he is. Uh, when you reveal a chaos token, you may treat that token as if it were any other token in the chaos bag. If you do, remember that you have cheated. Group limit once per round. Objective. When the investigators have collected the requisite numbers of clues, they must immediately spend them and advance. And it is four times three players, so for 12 clues. Okay. So... Yeah, you know we're in a, in a casino here. We can we can cheat a little bit if we're feeling gutsy. Yeah. If you if you don't like the token you get from the bag, you can just say it's something else. But we can only do that one time. One time per round as a group. Oh, that's nice. And if we do it, we must remember that we cheated. Oh no! <laughs> it's gonna have consequences. If we forget, can we scrub the numbers later? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> no, there's nothing in the rules about forgetting. Once you remember, you've got to remember. The camera never forgets. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a couple more things to look at. Speaking of criminals, 
there is the Clover Club pit boss roaming. He remember that he has a loof because of the agenda, so he's not going to outright attack us. But he's a hunter, and it says forced after an investigator at Clover Club pit boss's location gains any number of clues, he engages that investigator and makes an immediate attack. Mm -hmm. So don't grab clues while he's watching. Got it. So if he attacks us though. We immediately flip this, right? Um, if we do damage to him, so actually, if so we, we want to invade him, as soon as we engage him, we advance them. Uh, well, if, if we do damage, damage, to him. yeah. Damage. So, at, if we want to just let him just beat us up <laughs> or evade, okay. probably okay. the best the best plan of action is probably to just not get not let him see us get close. Got it. Got it. All right, and we begin at La Bella Luna, the the front of the casino. La Bella Luna was a multi-purpose establishment. <laughs> the music is cliche, and they only serve spaghetti. As far as covers for underground speakeasies go, it's not particularly creative. <laughs> it has three clues on it, pretty low shroud of two, and an action that just says, resign, this was a bust. <laughs> oh, hopefully we don't have to use that. Okay, who's feeling lucky? Um, speaking of who's feeling lucky, who wants to be the lead investigator? I think I was last round, so yeah, tag, you're it. I guess I will take on that role this time. All right. And what are we going to do? Um, well, you are an investigator, so I think you should kind of mop up those clues for us. So I'll let you take the first turn. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Before the pit boss comes, I'll get as many as I can. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start by spending four resources for Dr. Lamont Christopher again. He gives me an intellect, and each time I successfully investigate, I gain one resource. And then I'll investigate. Yeah. Five versus two, and minus one. I succeed. Clue and a resource. Thank you, Milan. He is so good. He's like broken good. <laughs> doing it again. Uh, cultist. What are the cultists doing here? Minus three. If you succeed, gain three resources. Wow. Ooh, and I was up by three, so I did succeed. Nice. <laughs> so I get the clue and a total of four resources. Thank you, cultists. Yes. Wow. Um, that's it for me. What do you guys think? How's your investigation? Um, which one is the investigation again? The, the, the brain? The book. Yeah. The book. I have two. Mm, I have three. Let's see if I can add two of them. Well, I can if I spend resources. Uh, you know, I'll do. I'll go. I'll go next. Okay. I'll just try and get the clue straight up first. Okay. With, with my three, and if it doesn't work, then I will spend resources and try and get some more. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, and I drew. Auto fails. Doesn't even matter. <laughs> no. <laughs> nice one, try. One more straight up. Oh man. Okay. And not auto fail, zero. Yay! Did it. I think that's a clue for me. Fantastic. Right. And then I have one more. I think I will go to the pit boss. All right. Take a look at that location. Okay. We are now in uh, the Clover Club Lounge. Comfortable leather couches, mahogany furniture, and an array of beautiful art greets gamblers, tempting them into the life of the would-be affluent. Hmm. And let's see. While this is in Act One, Clover Club Lounge gains. Uh, an action to discard an ally asset from your hand, you gain two clues from the token pool once per game. Hmm. And I don't believe there are clues on here unless I'm misreading it. That sounds right. So I'm yep. confused. You just automatically gain two clues? So as an action there, you can discard an ally from your hand. You're, I think, setting that ally to schmoozing with the people there mm -hmm. to see what you can learn. But you can't because the pit boss is there right now. So. Yeah, I would not advise doing it while the pit boss is there. But maybe once he leaves. Uh, well, my turn is over anyway, so I will not be doing anything with the pit boss around. All right. All right. So it's my turn, and I'm going to kind of beef up for later. That's that's I think what I did last time, and I feel like that's that's a good good call. <laughs> Prepare for the worst. Um, I'm, I have emergency cash. Gain three resources. Sweet. So I'm gonna do that. Thank you. And then I'm going to. Ben, four resources mm -hmm. for my automatic gun. Boom, boom, boom. Very right nice. There. And then we're using these for bullets. Three, four. I guess I'll take a card. Cool. 
So now it's monster phase, and I believe the pit boss comes to you. What do you, you have? A... Yeah, I have an intellect of five right now, so it, oh, it's. No, I don't have that. Oh, you know, no, it doesn't hunt me because it uh, always goes to the closest person first, and you're at its location, so it's just going to stay with you. But he's not engaging me, right? Right. No, it's just oh, hanging out. Then. Just mm -hmm. hanging out there. Stay which, there, sir. Which that's a fine place to, for him to be, unless we want to take advantage of that ability to trade our allies for clues. Mm -hmm. But I don't know about you. I don't have any allies, so I'm fine with him being there. I also don't have currently. <laughs> Sorry. No. Okay then. Upkeep. Go yes. Ahead draw a card, gain a resource. So since I'm Jenny, as a reminder, I get two resources. Help yourself. So, uh... All right. Time for our first mythos phase. All right. One doom out of four on the Clover Club agenda. I will draw a swarm of rats. <laughs> um, it's a hunter. Mm -hmm. A horde of cruel rats skirters forth in the undulating wave of claws, teeth, and mottled fur. This club should be shut down for health violations, <laughs> let alone alcohol violations. Yeah, <laughs> I doubt that the health violations are their biggest worry. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I guess I will be killing a rat next time. It's pretty low. That's yeah, he's good. not too bad. Yeah, as long as you land one hit on it, it's a goner. Yeah. I get Cursed Luck. An omen. Revelation. Put Cursed Luck into play at your threat area. You get minus one skill value during skill tests. Forced. After you succeeded a skill test by one or more, discard Cursed Luck. Could be worse. Yeah, so once you overcome your luck, the curse is over. Yeah. And that's going in with my Treachery card, which was my established... Um, weakness, yep. which is indebted, and it's a permanent card, and so I started the game with two fewer resources than normal. Right. Womp womp. Uh, but you had that emergency cash. I did, so I, that's why I spent the first <laughs> round beefing up. <laughs> okay. O'Banion's Thug. He's a human criminal and has the syndicate trait. Uh, while O'Banion's Thug is engaged with you, you cannot gain resources. Are we going to have a problem here? Uh, since all criminals have a loop, he's just going to go at my location, not engage with me like he normally would. Okay. Yeah. And that's it. Back to our turns. So I did actually draw an ally that I would be happy to discard for clues, but the pit boss is there. So we want to lead him away this turn. Um, how do we lead him away? He so, has to follow you. Yeah, the, the way to get him to leave that room would be to make sure no one's there at the Got end it. of this round, basically, because then he would follow, yeah, me. So you have to leave the room. Uh, well, we all have to kind of go down there, I believe. Yeah, there's nothing else for us. But I'm gonna spend my turn restaurant. fighting him. No, no. Don't. Oh, no. yeah, because that'll start the pit boss. Yeah, that'll start monkey all, butts. All the criminals. Okay. Yeah. So Got no it. fighting with them. Um, so I'm useless in this round. <laughs> <laughs> no fighting. You can go. Maybe you could go first and explore. Okay. That would help inform our turns at least. Okay, I can do that. Yep. Yeah. You have the bar and the what does that say? The card room. Yeah, the Clover Club bar and the Clover Club card room. So. All right, so should I do that then? To... Yeah, where do you want to go first? So I'm going to take one move and go here, mm -hmm. and then I'll come down here for my second move. All right, take a look at the bar. Ugh. The Clover Club bar. The shelves behind the bar sag beneath the weight of all the manner of bootleg drinks, cheap ales, moonshine, expensive bottles of wine, aged whiskey, if only you had a couple hours to kill. <laughs> While it is in Act 1, Clover Club Bar gains, spend two resources, gain two clues from the token pool, and draw two cards. Remember that you have had a drink limit once per game. So while you're here, you can have a drink. Spend two resources, and draw a few cards, learn a little bit, okay, gain so some clues. I literally just spend two resources and I gain two clues and get two more cards. Yeah, and remember that you had a drink, but that's, that's probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, heavens to Betsy. Should I do it? Should I take a, get a drink and get some clues? And I, I have a third round. If you're happy letting the resources go, then yeah, I don't see why not. We need we need the clues. As you, you're starting to see, we're not getting most of our clues via normal investigation. we got to yeah. participate in these casino yeah. activities. And we're going to remember that I'm a little drunk, so <laughs> let's do Or this. forget, because she's a little drunk. Have a drink. <laughs> So that's... And um, that's spend two clues, or spend two resources. Mm -hmm. Help yourself. Get two clues, and then I get two cards, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Super fun. That's awesome. I have plenty of resources, so I might go just do the same. You could get four. All right. Once per round. It's limit once per game. Got it. So you cannot drink again. Darn. Yeah, but we can each do it, and get mm -hmm. a total of six out of 12 clues that way if we do. Just so we'll all be a little drunk. <laughs> okay. 
I'll head down. Move, move to the bar. My free investigations since I'm Ursula don't help me out along the way. There's no clues. And yeah, spend two resources. Clues. Cards. Cool. So we're already up to... I'm all done. So I have to take care of these rats before I do anything. Mm -hmm. So what is that? Uh, they only, it's one. And I have three. I have their rats. I'll, I'll see what I can do with these rats. <laughs> I like it. Alright. No fails, no fails. Minus one. Squash them. Yeah. It's dead. Whoosh. Now there's just dead rats all over the lounge. Yeah, it's a, it's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> no one else seems to know this. <laughs> so, okay. So that's turn one. Turn two will be to go down to the card room instead of joining you guys in the bar. Just, mm. I want to see what's available here. Okay. So, and the card room. You do stay sober this way, too. Mm -hmm. Yes. I hope you're happy. No. <laughs> As you approach the card room, the clinking of poker chips and the shuffling of cards is punctuated by shouts of revelry and frustration. Your thoughts are nearly drowned out by the racket. All right, in the clover room. During act one, it gains spend two resources, reveal a random chaos token. If it is a star symbol, gain two clues and two resources from the token pool. If it is an even number, gain two clues. If it is an odd number, which or, which also includes skulls, cultists, I don't recognize a couple of these symbols, <laughs> nothing happens uh, for some of those other symbols. Mm, okay. And you spend two resources every time you try it? Uh, yes. Okay. So you're gambling. That's a gamble, yeah. Yeah. You're gambling. Uh, you, you, could, you can cheat if you want. Well, but, I forgot. Yeah. The cheating. And it's only per round, so you can cheat a lot if you want. That is very true. <laughs> well, let's... This will be my last one. Let's uh, gamble a little bit. Okay. So spending two. Spending two. Come on, star. This feels good. This feels good. No, it does not feel good. <laughs> that was the final fail. Nothing happens. Mm -hmm. That's your third move? I could cheat. What does cheating get me again? <laughs> All you have to do is remember that you cheated. Well, what does it get me, though? Do I just... Oh. Yeah, if you cheat, you get to just name what that was. And you can say it's the Elder Sign, and yeah, you'd get two clues and two resources. Oh, if I'm going to cheat, then I'm going to cheat all the way. Oh, yeah, don't, don't, <laughs> no half ass cheating yeah. for sure. But yeah, the question is, are you going to cheat? I think I will cheat. That was not a fail. That was an Elder Sign. Yeah! Oh, congratulations. Uh, I was going to say, sir. <laughs> congratulations, ma'am. You are a winner. So I'll take the two clues, the two resources. There you go. Call it good. Someone, something out there knows you cheated. Something knows you are drunk, so, yeah. so they're all a little screwed. Um, a lot of things to remember right now. I think that was my whole turn, I believe. It is the enemy phase, so the pit boss is going to move, and since I'm his prey with the most intellect, he'll move down to the bar, to the bar with us. Which is good. The thug that's in play doesn't have a hunter, so he's not going to move. And we'll upkeep. Okay. okay, guys, into the mythos phase. Doom number two out of four on the Clover Club. Okay. And lead investigator starts off. The uh, rats. Oh, no. Uh, let's see. I have arousing suspicions. Revelation. Place one Doom on each criminal enemy at your location. If no Doom was placed by this effect, lose two resources. So my upkeep phase did nothing for me. That's <laughs> but no doom on any criminals. L losing two resources is uh, quite as a lot better. Yeah. I will take that sacrifice. Good. Something in the drinks. <laughs> Surge. Revelation. Each player who has had a drink loses one action. Yep. That's us. So is this forever? Oh, um, no. Just this round. Just this round. We'll only get two okay. actions. So, and it's search to so go ahead and draw another one, and we'll just make a, make a mental note that you and I each have one fewer action this turn. Uh, curse luck. Oh, I didn't do anything with my curse luck last time. You didn't take any tests, so oh. it's just hanging out. So I get another one? Yeah, and they, they stack on top of each other. So all right. Minus two now. Minus two to all her skills. We gotta make sure that she can pass by one or more on something, and they'll both go away at the same time. Okay, that's okay. important. <laughs> An another O'Banion's thug. So it's going to, just like last time for me, it's except at the bar and just hang out. All right. I feel like you're causing problems, Brandon. It's a lot of that. I don't know why all the thugs are following me around. <laughs> you look suspicious with your uh, <laughs> Charles Obion. Is that what it's called again? Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, Charles Obion. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> Charles Oval. Charles Oval. I'm just flipping a coin. So I'm sure plenty, plenty of people are doing this around the casino. Two faced over good, here. <laughs> okay, it's our turns. I mentioned that I had an ally to discard. Do you mind if I just go do that? Yes. Oh, by the way, I think we're at nine clues right now. Yeah. So I'll get two from that, and then we need to find one more. Either you could go to the bar and buy a drink. Uh, I don't know. You've seen now what happens if you're, or, or maybe one of the things mm -hmm. that happens because you've had a drink. Or you can gamble some more. Oh, I can gamble more than once here? And you can cheat um, again, too. Yeah, no limit to the number of times you can do that. It costs you two resources every time. And yeah, if you if you want, I don't, let me double check this. Group limit once per round. Yeah, so just because you now remember that you have cheated doesn't mean you can't do it again. Okay. Remember that you cheated again. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want to go get a drink with the pit boss watching me. Because apparently oh. you can't drink around him. Good point. <laughs> Why can't you drink around? Oh, because you can't. The pit boss doesn't want you. You don't want to get clues around him. Got it. So, all right, I'll sneak up to the lounge. I only have two actions, but that's perfect. I'll move up to the lounge and I'll discard my other copy of Milan Christopher to get two clues. Nice. And that's my whole turn. We're one clue shy. Should he, he should probably get the clue so we can advance before my turn, right? Yeah, so the act does say that when we have enough clues, we immediately advance, like oh. it or not. So, so be aware that if you pick up a clue, like we're gonna pause your turn and see what happens next. I think I'm gonna roll the dice on that. So okay. let's gamble again. No auto fails, no auto fails. This one feels good. <laughs> <laughs> Why does, are you cheating? You no. Keep, you keep saying that and then drawing the auto fail. Why does the auto fail feel so good to you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Not okay. cheating on this one. Not cheating. All right. All right. Here we go. It's probably not auto fail again. I know it. Minus one. Minus uh, one is still a failure though, since it's an odd it number. Still oh, yeah. it's still a failure. Mm. All right. I'm gonna cheat. Okay, what did you draw? An elder sign again. <laughs> if we're gonna Yay! cheat, we're gonna cheat all the way. How do you do it? You <laughs> took your two resources. Here's yeah, two clues. Two clues, and then uh, I guess I will immediately advance this. So that's yes. Thirteen. Let's spend. So we have thirteen. One of us can keep a clue. Do you mind if it's me? Secret yes. cards sometimes Straight. like me to have a clue. So. After speaking to a number of gamblers and servers, it seems as though Dr. Morgan has had quite the run lately. Instead of cashing out his winnings, he was convinced to double down. He was last seen entering the guarded hall near the back of the card room. Put the set aside darkened hall into play. Can do. And it connects to the Clover Club card room, so I'll put it right there. Okay. And then, uh, if it is agenda one. It is. Okay. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a criminal enemy is discarded and spawn that enemy in the darkened hall, so I will do that. Mobster. Okay. Criminal. So he's now there in the darkened hall. Act 2A. Ooh. Skin game. Uh, Dr. Morgan is somewhere in the private section of the club where only VIPs and the club's managers are allowed. If you are to find him, you're going to have to sneak or even fight your way in. Mm. Objective. Only investigators in the VIP area may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. How many is that? Two times the number of investigators. Okay. So that is six. six. <laughs> Good job with your with your times tables there. But only people in the VIP area, which is this one. Though that's the darkened hall. There's not currently anything on the table called VIP area. So we need oh, to find it. Find but it. you can you can maybe uh, infer that a hall will lead to more locations. Yes. Well, there we go. <laughs> that's what halls usually do. So um, so we still need to gain six clues, or no, actually five clues because you still have one. Yes. So. All of the gambling and buying drinks and everything, these all just say while it's act one, and it no longer is. So okay. those have gone away. Mm. So if we're gonna find more clues, we're gonna have to go down the hallway, basically. Okay. Um, Lucky for you, you have, you have an action left. an action left, so I guess I will go into the darkened hall. Does he engage, though? No, no the monster's he has a, aloof. Still aloof for now, yeah. So, but he might be concerned. <laughs> so much reading. All right, uh, I am in the darkened hall now. A heavy oak door stands in a secluded corner of the club. As you approach it, the air grows heavy and the clamor of the card room fades behind you. Forced, when darkened hall is revealed, put into play the three set aside back hall doorway locations. 
Okay, I've got them right here. And then it just says, uh, the door slams shut behind you and you stand in sudden silence. This area of the club is lonesome and devoid of warmth and color. Somehow, the spotless floor and walls seem more sinister than inviting. Somehow. Dun, dun, dun. It doesn't say where to place them, though. I guess it's just off of those. Uh, yeah, it's always up to you how you arrange the things, but they're they're going to connect here. We can see from the icon here that they all connect to the hall. So okay. I will line them up right here. So these are all identical on their back, but they may be different through the doors. Got it. We don't know what they are. Right. Fun. Only one way to find out is to barge in. So I only have two moves this round. Yeah. Um, and I guess I should just make them make my way towards the um, the hallway, right? Sure. Yeah. I don't think there's anything that I should do. So I think you can only go as far as the card room. Yeah, because I only have two moves. Let me just see if there's anything I can do. Uh, these two do connect to each other. Oh, they do. Oh, yeah. Good. Okay. I'm gonna go down here and then go down here, and that's the end of my turn. Uh, you are still double cursed. I am still double cursed. <laughs> we gotta find you an easy test to pass. Yeah. Um, when this monster wants to fight, it's a pretty easy fight. When probably. it's time. Yeah. <laughs> well, in the meantime, I believe the pit boss is coming to you. Yes, it joins me in the lounge. Does he really move that fast, or does he just move one spot closer? One spot closer, but he's connected to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Got it, I forgot you were up there. Yeah, uh, nothing else is a hunter, so I'll keep face. Oh, I found my Call of the Unknown weakness. Ooh, I actually also found my weakness. <laughs> uh, I'll let you go first, since you pulled yours first. Okay, it goes into my threat area. At the beginning of my turn, I have to choose a location other than the one I, where I currently am, and then by the end of my turn, I have to have successfully investigated that chosen location. Otherwise, I take two horror and shuffle this back into my deck. Oh. So I have to continually move around and successfully investigate to satisfy my call of the unknown. And there, is there any place left to investigate? No, it's a little rough because there's no clues on the entire table right now. What's so, your weakness? So my weakness is drawing the sign uh, it's a pact and it's madness. Uh, revelation, put drawing the sign into play in your threat area. Your maximum hand size is reduced by five while checking your hand size during the upkeep phase. So I can gain cards later, but only in upkeep. when I'm in upkeep, I have to discard. Yeah, and I have bad news for you. That's what's happening immediately now after we just drew our cards and got our resources, is you have to discard down to your hand size. Hmm, what do I keep? Yeah, how many do you have to lose? Right now I have, oh, hands are so I have to lose four. Oh boy. My, I picked my four, I'm down to a hand of three. Okay. Um, How are you feeling? Uh, okay. But I might use my next turn to get rid of this, so. Smart. Probably for the best, yeah. Um, but I've kept some cards to help you heal horror if you do end up having to take that. Appreciate it. So. So, yes, yeah, speaking of our turns, top of a new round with the Mythos phase. Three out of four doom on the Clover Club. Something in the drinks. Surge, each player who has a drink loses one action. It doesn't matter who draws that, it hits us. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that had Surge, so. I have not yet had a drink, so I'm good. Oh, I got rats. <laughs> okay. Rats! Rats, I got rats. Uh, so those will be my fun time next round. Mm -hmm. Hunted down. Revelation. If there are no unengaged criminal enemies in play, hunted down gains surge. If there are one or more unengaged criminal enemies in play, each of them moves one location towards you. Each criminal enemy that engages you as a result of this effect makes an immediate attack. Well, uh, good news is they're still aloof. Nothing's going to engage you. Okay. But it looks like this thug is going to move one step closer to you. Mm -hmm. The pit boss is going to move one step closer to you. And this thug will move one step closer to you, okay. jo joining me in the lounge. But they're not going to engage any of us because they're aloof. Because they're aloof. Okay. But they're all a little, if they decide not to be aloof anymore, they're, they're all a little closer. closer. <laughs> no, it's not bad. That's not no, bad. No, all in all, it's, it could be worse. not too bad. Twist of Fate. It's an omen. Revelation, reveal a random token from the chaos bag. I'll just do it and see what happens. It's the auto fail, which means I take two horror. Fudge! Yeah, so that's going to add up fast. We're gonna to need to heal you. I might be able to heal you too. Make your way to us. All right, it's our turns. Um, yeah, I need to get to you. 
All right, I guess I should go first. Um, I just got this last round, Zoe's Cross. And Zoe's Cross is for my deck only, um, uh, Zoe's deck only. After an enemy becomes engaged with you, exhaust Zoe's Cross and spend one resource, deal one damage to that enemy. So I'm going to do so, and then I'm going to engage with your rats. Nice. Rah, and then I spend one resource, and your rats go away. And does that mean I get rid of these guys? It doesn't affect Chris damn Brock. It, damn no. it, damn it, damn it. But the good news that you are forgetting is that whenever you engage an enemy because you're Zoe, you get a resource. Oh, fun. So you actually break even. I break even. Nice. And that exhausts me because I was drunk, and I yeah. only get two. I also get two actions. I do not like this horde of criminals between you and me, so <laughs> I'm just gonna spend them catching up to you guys okay. In, okay. The dark, in the darkened hallway. So I'm actually going to try and get my hand size back. I'm gonna spend two of my actions to get rid of this, thankfully, and then I'm gonna use my last action to, ooh, which hallway do I wanna go into? Door number one, door or number two. Brandon has some horror if there's... Or he'll have horror. Because he's gonna get two more horror. I am getting two horror. If you can. Actually, thank you. I should have done that at the end of my turn. I should have already taken that horror. How many horror do you got right now? You have... I have three remaining horror, plus I can put up to two on Milan. All right, you know, I think we're about to flip this, so I'm gonna explore and see what I can find. Uh, let's try this one. Okay. So I drew a... the back alley. Oh, good. Uh, all it says is, resign. <laughs> we can get out of this way. A steep, narrow staircase ascends to a second unmarked door. To your surprise, it leads into a back alley behind La Bella Luna. This must be where they smuggle in their goods. Mmm. Goods. Uh, but it does have three clues, which we need. Oh, and low shroud. Yes. So I am, uh, I am now here, and uh, I'm done. So, uh... Okay. Monster phase, pit boss is gonna move down to you. Yeah, the pit boss joins us in the hall. Chatting him up, having a little conversation in the hallway. You would think that he would mostly stay in the casino. He's the pit boss, so you know you know he must be onto us. Okay, that was the only enemy to act, so upkeep. And it's the mythos phase. Doom number four on the Clover Club. Let's see what happens. On the right track. Oh, it seems rather positive for an agenda. <laughs> Your questioning has drawn the attention of several men hired thugs by the look of them. Francis doesn't want to be bothered, one of them says. We suggest you leave the premises before we force you to leave. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. If the players have completed extracurricular activity, which we have, we advance directly to agenda 2B. So this extra time that we would have had there is gone. It's too late at night. Sudden chaos! You hear a crash from somewhere outside and screams of pain in the lounge. A terrible monstrosity smashes through the entrance to the club, crushing the stairwell and knocking over gangsters and patrons alike. Spawn a random enemy from the set aside Hideous Abominations encounter set. It's these three cards. In the Clover Club lounge. Why don't you choose one of these? I don't want to do it. Yeah. I did all the reading, I think it's your turn. <laughs> so it's going to go in the lounge. Tell okay. us, yeah, tell us what you found. I don't want to. Servant of the Lurker, hey. a monster abomination. Prey, lowest agility, hunter. Forced, when Servant of the Lurker attacks you, discard the top two cards of your deck. There's more. Shuffle the rest of the abominations encounter set and the set aside striking fear encounter set, which I've got right here, and the encounter discard pile back into the encounter deck. Move all investigators and unengaged enemies from La Bella Luna to the Clover Club Lounge. Remove La Bella Luna from the game. So the restaurant is closed. We're taking it off the table. Now our only way to resign, if we want to resign, is through that back alley. <laughs> Got it. Now we're on to Chaos in the Clover Club. Amidst the chaos and confusion, the strange abominations attack everyone in the club. Screams echo through the halls as the blood begins to spray. Forced, at the start of the enemy phase, Discard each criminal enemy in the same location as an abomination enemy. So that servant of the lurker is actually going to start killing all the criminals in its path. Great. So we can do our best to take advantage of that. That's, yeah, it's gotta come down. Just knock them all out. Uh, seven doom on there, and it's the last agenda in the deck. All right. 
that really heightened the the timeline right there. <laughs> right? Yeah, so it went from a pretty chill kind of just hanging out in the speakeasy night to a little bit less chill chaos great. with abominations killing everyone in sight. Great. Well, he's two rooms away from us currently, so mm-hmm. we have and some And he's going to kill him. Yes, he'll take out the thug. He'll hunt us, but he's a couple moves away. You're, you're absolutely right. So we have time to get some clues, because we need those. And to <laughs> let do. him... Are these guys um, still aloof? No. They're because the card that said that they were aloof went away, now Got they're it. no longer aloof. Which actually means, I'm glad you pointed out, the Clover Club pit boss and the mobster that's in the hallway with us need to engage someone. Okay. How do you feel about both of them? I can take both of them. Either that or I'm decent at evading, so if, if you want me to take the, monst- the mobster, I could evade it and I then, can then take you can both take of them. later. Okay. I'm, I'm prepared. Oh, no, I think you should not take both of them. No? Because you currently are cursed. Oh, uh, I forgot you, about my cursed luck. So, you know what? This mobster, because it's only two to kill, is a hopefully an easy way for you to get out of your curse. Okay. And if you go first, I can help you, give you a card. I, I, think, I, I think I like Okay, yeah, do you have to take both? I am willing to be talked into things. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Let's get some victory points. <laughs> and before we do anything else, though, we've still got encounter cards. Ew, I forgot about that part. Yeah, Scott. Rotting remains. Test will three for each point you fail by. Take one horror. Probably gonna auto fail this. So what? 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 Do you... Just don't grab the auto fail. Yeah. We keep He's saying that. that. We keep saying that. Well, don't feel around for what feels good, because we established that that's the auto fail. <laughs> so first one I've grabbed. Okay. Minus, Minus one. one. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to take one horror? Yeah. Two horror. It's for each point you fail by, right? Yes. So one horror. This could be worse. Yeah. Okay. It could be worse. Not too bad. I could eat one horror. Twist of fate. Omen. Mm-hmm. Reveal a random token from the chaos bag. Zero. Mm-hmm. Um... If you reveal any other number, take one damage. Okay. That's that's what So one damage. One out of nine, you're you're doing pretty alright. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Here I got that for you. Thank you. And thank you. Something in the drinks. Okay. It surges and we each have two only two actions this round. Hunted down. Oh yikes. Okay. If there are no unengaged criminal enemies in play, hunted down gains surge, but there are. if there are more one or more each of them moves one location towards you. Each criminal enemy that engages you as a result of this effect makes an immediate attack. So... There's technically the, engaged, right? Now. So this thug is... Right, so the ones that are engaged with you aren't affected by yeah. this. This thug is going to move into our location, but we could have it engage either of us, and it, if we choose you, it won't make an immediate attack. How do you feel Why? about it? Why won't it make an immediate attack? Because what Hunted Down says is each criminal enemy that engages you, and it's referring to me since mm-hmm. I drew the card, as a result of this effect makes an immediate attack. So for you, that Oh, that so if it engages somebody else, it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, so how do you feel about a third gangster? Whatever. <laughs> Pile them on. All right. Pile them on. Thanks, Zoe. <laughs> and this thug moves to the card room. Right. Annoyingly, that means the servant won't take it right out this round. <laughs> okay, guys. Things have gone from bad to pretty bad. It's all right. Um... <laughs> like, Can I just... sure. no, no explanation for why it's all right. Just it's all right. Yeah. It's all right. Let me look at my cards and see what I can do about these guys. Yeah, why don't you go before I go? Because I probably yeah. want to leave, and I'd like to help you fight first. <laughs> I have a disengage, which if you weren't at my location... Don't you dare. I could disengage and just be like, poof, I'm out! <laughs> don't you... So maybe, even think about maybe, it. Maybe you should go first. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a, that's a thought. If I, if you were to go first and leave, mm-hmm. and then I disengage and leave, will they still come after us next round? Uh, two of the three of them don't have Hunter, so that's true. They could leave them theoretically just in the hallway until the lurker comes and kills them. Yeah, the only one who would chase you is the pit boss. Yeah, that's not the worst idea. Yeah, maybe you should go first. Huh. Because I have, like, it's, I'm just... Okay. Well, what if you wait? And peace out. What if on your turn said you tried to at least kill him to get rid of your cursed luck, and mm. then disengage from the other two? But he, he still has to go first to get out, or else he'll yeah, engage with that's him. That's true. But they, you, yeah, you need help killing. The other threat to that plan is that if we draw 
more hunted down cards, then everything in that alley is going to pile on. Got it. it. That's fine. Pile on to the person who drew it. And I can still I mean, fight them. I'm okay fighting I, them. I don't hate the idea. We could do it. I'm just saying there's that gamble. Mm -hmm. Why don't you check out the different location and then we'll decide if I fly away after that. He might not be there to give me more cards. But it, fighting is still an but option. But fighting is still an option. That's true. And if you if you have like the icons to help you get out of your curse, then you're a pretty good fighter. I, I have a lot of I have a lot of backup. Okay. That is good to know. All right, then. Because sure. I have Zoe's cross and my gun at the moment that I can use to fight these things if I need to stay and fight, or I can poof and be like, right. bye, bitches. Uh, speaking of which, when that new thug engaged you, you gained a resource. I forget about that. And you may use your cross on it if you want. Just to get rid of it? To uh, do one damage to it. Okay. It was this thug. So whether doing one out of two damage even matters because your gun does two, mm -hmm. I don't know. All right, yeah, Just, I'll, I'll, I'll knock it down one. Okay. Okay. So I'll take back that resource. There's a damage for the thug. Thank you. Okay. Okay, then why don't I try one of the other closed doors? Yeah, do it. <laughs> I'm going to go to the right. I found the VIP area. Oh. When you are in the VIP area, you cannot draw cards or gain resources during the upkeep phase. The coppery smell of blood assaults your senses. The floor is littered with broken glass and the upholstery has been torn to shreds. Where is Dr. Morgan? It's gonna have three clues and it has a shroud of three. And remember, this is where we have to be to spend clues to advance mm -hmm. the act. Everyone who's going to contribute clues needs to do it from there. So when I move, I get a free investigation. I'll go ahead and take it. I'm I'm up, up by two, so I'll just, I'll just go for it. Minus two. I'll get a clue and a resource. Thank you, Mullen. Okay, that was my first action. I only have two because of the, the whole drunk thing. I really want to make sure to get this done this game. So I'm going to spend one resource and play Strange Solution. By all accounts, it should not even exist. All it says is, as an action, I can test four intellect. If I succeed, discard Strange Solution and draw two cards. Record in the campaign log that you have identified the solution. There are certain cards that I can put in my deck later that I can only put in my deck if we've identified this solution. Got so it. Oh, okay. This is me investing a little bit in my future. <laughs> All right. If I have time to, to do that, we'll see. But okay, that's my turn. Well, what do you think? I'm going to look for some clues, I think, because I need clues. Okay. Just one shroud. Yeah, you got this. Cultist. Does... That one says minus three. If you succeeded, you would gain three resources. But no, you didn't pass there. I did not pass. All right. You're so rich, you could consider pumping these with Streetwise just to make them more certain. Oh, that's true. Um, I can spend two. Let's do spend two resources. I want to guarantee a clue here. This one. Minus two. So You're good. I still win that one. So we've got. Oh. No. Oh, sorry. All right. Yeah, let's do it one more time. Um. Zero. Sweet. Eight. Second clue. So we are at four of six. Yeah, but you'll have to also make it to the VIP area to contribute those. True. Just fine. So I'm going to... I have to beat two or more? Uh, if you're attacking the mobster, yeah. So I'm going to do my survival knife, which has okay. one. Mm -hmm. And then, so that brings me up to four versus two. Yeah. And then I'll do my machete as well. Okay, so five versus two. Five versus two. Draw well. All right, so I'm gonna spend one of these. Okay. And one of my automatic um, bullets. And uh, I'm gonna do this, five versus two. Fun facts, the gun only counts if you go poop, poop, poop. And stare <laughs> straight. Oh my god, look. It's really upsetting. Minus plus one. Oh, plus one. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, uncursed. <laughs> I'm gonna um, take these for you. Yeah, take yeah. that shit away from me. The curse luck is gone. Two damage to the monster kills it. So now I'm gonna well do this bastard. The thug? A thug. Okay. Or which one does either one of these do less damage? They both do the same damage, and you can't really kill the pit boss all in one hit because that's four hit points. So probably the thug's your best bet. Okay. Or you could run away. Or you can elusive, it, that's true. You can say, like, and if, they, if great, he chases you for some reason, you'll auto kill him. That's true. 
Oh, that's a good, that's a good point. Running away from the thug now that it has one damage means if it comes and gets you again, you can use your cross and do the other damage. Yeah. That's a really good move. That's. Yeah. I like that. I like that plan. So I'm going to use elusive. Okay. Which is fast play only uh, during my turn. Disengage from each enemy with you and move to a re to a revealed location with no enemies. So I can come down to either of you. Mm -hmm. The VIP area or the back alley. The question is, I think it makes sense for me to go to the VIP area because I have to be there later. Uh, if you had any clues to send, and you the have pit, to be there. The pit boss is going to come after you anyway in that location, so it makes sense for me to be there. Great point. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's, he's going to come get me. And oh. so... All right. It is what it is, I guess. Well, I, I mean, he's going to come after you, but I'm going to be there. Yeah, so, so he'll do a couple damage to me, but I can survive that. So I think that's the the move. Okay. Um, you have an action left. Elusive's fast. Oh, fun! Yeah, I don't know what you want to do. Do you want to investigate a clue? What's the what's the shroud? Three. And yeah. I'm not that smart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put down my um, leather coat, okay. which is armor. The coat was not the most fashionable choice, but it did feel warm and reassuring in its bulk, and it protects me from two damage and um, no more. No one, no one suspects the person wearing a trench coat in the casino. <laughs> no way. So that'll protect me just a little bit later on if I have to engage with anybody. Okay, that's everyone's actions, right? Mm -hmm. So in the enemy phase, the pit boss is still around and is a hunter. So it's going to chase me as its prey. It's going to engage me and do two damage to me. That's fine. Two out of seven. Okay. And the servant of the lurker is also a hunter, so it's going to move to the card room. And does it kill that guy? Um, nom, nom. No, it oh. om noms the thugs at the start of the enemy phase, so it'll be like next round if they're still together. Okay. Upkeep. Those of us in the VIP area, we don't draw cards with resources. Okay. So, enjoy, Scott. I will, and I will take two resources. All right, so... Mythos phase. All right, come on. That's one out of seven on Chaos in the Clover Club. We're doing and okay, what? I think. Storm of Rats. Okay. So I have to do that. Yep. <laughs> Twist of Fate. You have to do that. Monkeys. Come on, be a star symbol. Or a positive number. Is zero technically a positive or negative? It's just yeah. nothing. It's nothing. So it's when the question is, is it positive? No. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Auto fail. Auto fail. So what do I do? I'll take two horn. Oh, yikes. Okay. That hurts. That hurts just a little bit. There you go. I can heal horror though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Hunted down. Come on, Brandon. Again, so each unengaged criminal enemy moves one space towards me, so this thug is going to move to our location. Which I can engage in. And the thug that was hanging out with the lurker moves down the hallway. They just keep getting away from this damn lurker. Mm-hmm. Okay, you would like to take the thug? Yeah, I'll take him. All right, and you gain a resource because you're Zoe, and then would you like to kill it with your cross? I would like to kill it immediately. I love that idea. Okay, so ultimately not too bad other than it bought that thug more time. <laughs> I've never seen the abomination like fail so miserably to kill any <laughs> Oh well, that's it. It's our turns. There was nothing in the drinks this time, so we get three whole actions. Yay! Thank goodness. <laughs> Would you guys like to go first? Maybe click some clues? Yeah. Some definitely pit bosses? Some clues. I'm definitely I'm staring down this pit boss, so I should either evade him or you should just engage him off of me. I'd engage him because then if you get those two clues, we can advance. That's all. I just have to get to you guys. Oh, he's yeah. not with us, so should... That's fine. I, could, I just need to get to you. Yeah, you are going to have trouble doing that this round since because of those rats pretty much, right? Yeah, I have to kill the rats and then move. If it weren't for the rats, you could like move, evade the thug in the hallway and move. Mm. But it's tricky with the rats unless you wanted to take all that damage, but that's a bad idea. Okay, we should just plan on next round. Next round, okay. <laughs> next round will advance. Let's do that. You want me to go first? Please. All right. So I'm gonna take him. Sweet. You're so Zoe. You, action. You're Zoe. So you get a resource. Ah. All right. So we've got to fight him just straight up. Not straight up. You're gonna shoot a gun. Oh yeah, I'm gonna shoot a gun. Boom. Yeah. Plus two. And you know what? I can. I'm at your location. I can help you. Let's let's make this more certain. I don't think I'm playing Jake Williams this game. So there's one one icon for you. All right. So what am I going into it? Um, six versus three. Six versus three. Yeah. Okay. I like this one. pretty good. 
Okay. Minus one will do it. So that's, he's got two. Yep. And are you going in? Yeah, let's do it again. Okay, then this time I'll give you my unexpected courage for two icons. Oh, thank you. So seven to three? Yeah. Minus two. two. We'll do it. Yay! Nice. Bye, and we get a victory point. Double tap to the pit boss. <laughs> Execution style. <laughs> so terrible. Right? That's so terrible. Yeah. Um, okay, so that was two action, three actions. So I'm done. Yes, you're done. I'm exhausted. <laughs> so I guess you should go next and try and get those clues. Okay, yeah. I think on each of these investigations, I'm going to put in a Eureka, which says that if the skill test is successful, I get to draw one of the top three cards in my deck. So, and it's plus one, it's one icon. So. I am investigating six versus three. Minus four fails. Shit. Ow. Okay, well, I'll try it again. Another Eureka. Maybe it will actually go off this time. Minus three, just enough. There so, we go. Success, I'll gain that clue. Milan gives me a resource. And Eureka gives me one of the top three cards in my deck. Okay, I'll save this one. Shuffle that in a moment. I have one action left. Ah, oh, damn it. I was going to identify my strange solution, but because there's still the clue left, I guess I'll just get it. Yeah. Okay, so I'll put deduction in this time, so I'm at plus three one more time. Minus four. Damn. Okay, well, failed two out of three times, and that's my turn. Jenny, make up for my I think you need to stay and bulk up because, and get the clue, like, okay, because so he's I gonna will, move. I will fight the rat, so I'm just gonna do it straight up, three versus one. Hopefully not do an auto fair on minus four. Minus three. Fail. Damn. <laughs> really? <laughs> this, this bag is not on our side. This one. Minus one, okay. All right, rats Yay, are dead. Yay, my rats. And then, do we go for the clue? I guess I'll go for the clue. No, not that one, not that one. This one. Cultus, minus three. Damn. <laughs> so close. Oh, man. The bag is not nice to us this time. No, it's been rough. <laughs> okay, enemy phase. The servant of the lurker hunts closer. It's in the hallway. The casino's gone quiet. It's either it's killed everyone in there or they've all flooded down the hallway. <laughs> and upkeep in the VIP area, we still don't get anything. Yep, but you get some stuff. Okay. And a new mythos phase. Two out of seven doom. Dum dum. Okay. Cursed luck. Ah, minus one. Oh, yikes. Your turn. <laughs> Dissonant voices. Put dissonant voices into play in your threat area. You cannot play assets or events. At the end of the round, discard dissonant voices. So for one turn, you basically can't play cards unless okay. you're putting them into skill tests. Got it. Frozen in fear. Put frozen in fear into play in your threat area. The first time you perform one of the following actions, move, fight, or evade, each round it costs one additional action. And at the end of my turn, I test willpower three to try to discard frozen in fear. Okay. That's okay, because you're just going to get a clue and then bulk up, right? <laughs> Am I? Yeah. <laughs> am I going to get a clue? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. What am I going to do? That cultist has been hounding us long enough. The cultist token in the bag. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to play one of Ursula's relics, the Chthonian Stone. It seals a token of my, an uh, icon token of my choice. And seal means that we're going to take it out of the bag and we're going to put it on this card where it can't be drawn anymore. Oh, you could oh. only do the, the, the cultist, or could you do auto fail, or is the, is the cultist worse than auto fail? Uh, <laughs> the cultist is not worse than auto fail. Um, no, it had to be one it of these be, four, oh, like the four other okay, icons. Okay, got yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So I've put the cultist icon where it can't bother us any longer. It can't hurt us anymore. <laughs> if I draw an auto fail, then the stone goes back to my hand and the cultist goes back in the bag. So it's, it's a tenuous okay. situation, okay. but for now... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Scott can pass a damn test with that cultist out of the bag. He <laughs> <laughs> can't turn to <us> in. <laughs> that was my first action. I'm going to spend another three to play another relic to the Vesley. It gives me plus one willpower and plus one agility while resolving abilities on treachery cards. That will help me get out of my frozen and fear. Mm -hmm. So, play that. My last action... Clue? <laughs> I'm torn between the clue or identifying the solution. 
So this was in my deck last game, and I never even threw it mm -hmm. to try to get that in the campaign log. So I really want to make sure to do it this time. I don't have great. Do you have any intellect icons you no, want to share with me? Not at all. Mm -hmm. We are like polar opposites. I literally don't have a combat icon in my whole deck. Just wilds. Like when, <laughs> when I help you, it's with wilds. You have no intellect. I have no intellect. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to identify the solution. I'm at plus one for the test. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I have these luck. Skull, minus two. Oh, wait, minus two. You may spend two resources to treat this as a zero instead. I've got the resources to burn. Yeah. I'll spend two. The skull's a zero. And I identify the solution. So I discard it. I draw two cards. And I record in my campaign log that I have identified the solution. Yay! We'll have some fun getting some fun potions next time. So at the end of my turn, I'm going to test to try to get rid of Frozen and Fear. With my Relic, I'm at four versus three willpower. <laughs> Auto fail, okay. I am still Frozen in Fear for the foreseeable future. What should I do? I think we should take cards and resources or whatever we need to do to bulk up. If you can go for the clue, go for the clue. Like, neither of us can move because yeah. he's going to eat him and then he'll come down to me. So it's, uh -huh. I'll fight him next round. Okay. And if you, with one shroud in that back alley, that's a great time to try to get rid of your curse because it's an easy test. All right. So I'm going to go for that last clue before I do any bulking up. So uh, I'm at three minus one. I will spend two resources to get plus three. Nice. And the cultist is gone, so no auto fail. Oh, I shouldn't have said it. <laughs> plus one! Okay. Yay! The one time I didn't need plus one. <laughs> All right, so that's that. You, you've uh, shaken your cursed luck out. Shaken your, shaken out. Shaking. Shaken out. I don't think that was a thing. You've gotten rid of your cursed luck. So I'm gonna bulk up a little bit. So I'm gonna actually spend three more resources to play my Derringer. Nice, how much ammo? Three. Emergency cash and get three more resources, <laughs> just in case. Just in case. And I think that's and everything. That's me. it. Okay. Zoe. So I do not have enough intellect to get the clue. I don't have anything that can help me get it. Yeah, in between us we have six anyway. That's all we need. When so you, uh, oh six, yeah. So when they I, come, I just have to get, get to you. To you. Yeah, which is so probably. I guess my only option is to take three cards. Oh, this is my weakness. Oh no, what'd you get? Smite the wicked. Revelation, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until an enemy is discarded. Attach Smite the Wicked to the enemy and spawn in a location farthest from me. Oh, yeah. Forced, when the game ends, if attached enemy is in play, you suffer one mental trauma. Um, do I just flip it over? Yeah, just one at a time till you hit an enemy. Arousing suspicions. Keep going. There, there we go. It is. Ooh, that's a doozy too. Conglomeration of spheres. Um, after you perform an attack against the conglomeration of spheres using a melee card, discard that card. If you use a knife or something, it gets stuck in the... Oh, like, fun. Ooze. Yeah. Okay, so he spawns up here with this. Yeah, with Smite the, the Wicked. So I have to kill him before the end of this game. I mean, he's hard because he's six health, but yeah. he's only one combat. So, so if we get the... And it's a hunter, so it will come to us. If we get the opportunity, yeah, we can just all just punch it. Yeah. We don't even need weapons, just... Just keep... Just punch it to death. But right now it's like unreachably far away, so it's a good yeah. thing it's a hunter. Too bad it's not between him and us. Yeah. Because that would be awesome. It would. And I would dis yeah. discard mm -hmm. uh, Dissonant Voices because it's the end of my turn. So monster phase. Yeah. We finally get a criminal to get eaten. Yes, so the O'Banion's thug that is sharing the hallway with the lurker gets devoured. No, no, no. Bad news is, though, it hunts the person with the lowest agility. Which Two. is you, Zoe. All right, so it's going to come to you and hit you right now. Okay. Two horror, two damage, and discard the top two cards of your deck. It hits hard. It does hit hard. Uh -huh. <laughs> You'll be okay. All right. I'm going to use my leather coat to take two damage for me. Okay, which discards it from play. Which discards it from play. But that's its whole purpose, so. Okay, upkeep. Again, as long as you're not in the VIP area, you get your stuff. Oh, my weakness. Oh, no. It's been weakness time here. Searching for Izzy. Uh, attach Searching for Izzy to the location furthest from me, so where yours is, but it's not a hunter. No. And uh, I have to go investigate. And 
when the game ends, if it's still in play, I suffer one mental trauma as well. Oh man, all of a sudden the lounge is where everyone's like insecurities and things are manifested. <laughs> <laughs> all of our insecurities. All right. Oh man, I don't know if we're gonna get there. <laughs> that's a two action investigation as well. That's so right. Girl. Okay. So yep. encounter time, I believe, right? It's the mythos phase. We've got Doom 3 out of 7 on the agenda. Oh, and I think we're gonna end this well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, something in the drinks. You guys each lose an action. Yeah. Sorry. Hi. Twist of Fate. Reveal a random token from the Chaos Bank. Good. Oh, zero. Oh, yeah, it's still failing. Technically, it's positive. No, it's not technically positive. Well, zero is a positive number. No, it isn't. <laughs> it says a star symbol or a positive number. Zero is not positive. Fine, I'll take one damage. <laughs> there have, and I've seen them, there have been debates about this online, and the developer has weighed in. <laughs> it's not positive for this purpose. <laughs> not positive. Have some rats. I'm okay with rats. Give me some rats. Great, I've, I've got a whole nice thing of fighting to do. We're fine. When it engages you, you gain a resource. Yay! Did you get one from the Lurker? Oh, and you could have done the cross against the Lurker, by the way. Oh, I could have. Do you want to go back in time and do that? Ooh. I don't mind. It's a slight, a slight retcon, but if you would be spending a resource to use the cross. So that way you only have to kill him, tw hit him twice. Okay, yes. Or I guess no, because you you're out of bullets there, but once. Yes, still, I I say, yeah, I still would like to do that. So. Okay. So we'll take that resource back. Okay. So here's, it's, this happens sometimes when you're playing games, a little bit of a retcon. The way it would have worked was there was the enemy phase when it mm -hmm. engaged you, you did that. Then the upkeep phase happened, it would have readied your cross. So if you would like to also do it to the rats now, you can. Yes, I would like to do it to the rats. <laughs> so turn it and we put that back. Love and it. There we go. Rats are just dead. Rats are gone. All right. Thanks guys for looking out. I completely <laughs> forgot my rules. My pleasure. I'm arousing suspicions. Revelation, place one doom on each criminal enemy at your location. If no doom was placed by this effect, lose two resources. Eyes are all around you, watching your every move. Are there any, there are no there criminals, are criminals at my location, so I lose my one resource. So that's all I got. I am dead broke. Sitting in this VIP area where you don't get your income. It, right, <laughs> but we can get out of it now if you want. Like. Well, we need to spend our clues here first. Oh yeah, you're sure. So I'm gonna go first, actually. Yeah. Speaking of which, it's our turn. Yeah, why don't you get here? Uh, one and two. Okay. Spin the clues. Yours as well. So Dr. Morgan's fate is yeah. uh, the end of Act 2B. Uh, we have completed extracurricular activity. So, the VIP rooms are filled with mangled and bloody bodies of unfortunate patrons. There doesn't appear to be any trace of Dr. Morgan. You hear screaming and gunfire from the main area of the club. The set aside Peter Clover into play in the Clover Club of Bar. Hmm. Okay. We'll, we'll look at him in a second. You can finish reading. Oof. Um, search the encounter deck or out of play for an abomination enemy and spawn it into the Clover Club Bar. Whew. Uh, okay. I think all the abominations and everything is in play, right? Uh, there's two of them in play. There's probably one more in the deck. You can just search the deck for it. Conglomeration of Spheres. Another one. Great. Okay. So I put him into play. Uh, let's see. Spawn a clip. Advance to Act 3A Fold. <clears throat> Free drinks for whoever gets me the hell out of here, a man exclaims from the bar. While Peter Cl Clover is not controlled by a player, he gains action parley. Test uh, Will 3 to convince Peter to follow you. If you succeed, place one clue from the token bank on him. If there are uh, one times the number of investigator clues on Peter, take control of him. So if each undefeated investigator has a resigned, advance. Okay. So here's where we're at. We've got four turns left on the agenda. The casino is full of abominations. So here's, here's Peter sitting at the bar. He's holding all the cards. Forced, at the start of the enemy phase, if no investigator controls him, deal one damage to him. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be dead in three rounds. Mm. And you can exhaust him, if, if you control him, you can exhaust him to automatically evade a criminal at your location. So he can help you sneak by the thugs. We're not really worried about criminals right now, though. It's mm -hmm. all the monsters. Mm -hmm. So, kind of to summarize, our 
so Peter's there. We can go to him, parlay him three times to convince him to follow us. But our actual objective is to get the hell out. So the question is, do we want to go all the way back into the casino to try to get him out with us? Or do we want to just run for it? That's what we need to figure out. So we need three clues on him. For him to come with us, yeah. That's not our objective. <laughs> no, no, I know. <laughs> if we wanted him to come with us, though, we yeah. need three clues on him. So let's just, just talk about it for a minute. You have the rest of your turn. I have to fight this mm -hmm. guy. I have to hit him three more times, right? Uh, he's got four hit points left. Four left, yes. Yeah. So I have to I have to hit him four more times, mm -hmm. um, which was two, two yeah. moves. I mean, Jenny maybe can help now that she's here. Mm -hmm. She can shoot at it. Yeah, so my, my thing is, is if I beat it, and I can move forward to try and engage this so you guys can't go past and parlay with him. Mm -hmm. We could try that for one round, like maybe two, and then get the hell out. But that's like, there's a lot of risk there. But I'm sure getting him is better than not getting him. That's a safe bet. <laughs> <laughs> My other thing is though, I might kind of want to go north anyway. Oh yeah, because we have I to- I want to get rid of my, my trauma. But can we do all that's, that in four turns? That's so that's, many moves away. That's the question. And I only have two moves because I'm drunk. Oh, right. We only have two. Thank you. I, I, I've forgotten that. We have, only have two actions here. I might have to take a mental trauma this time. I'm going to be honest. I don't see how we can get to any of those feasibly. So Maybe if you didn't already have a big monster on you. Yeah. <laughs> so one, two. That's two moves. I think I lean towards, let's get rid of the Lurker. We can reevaluate next round whether there's anything else we can accomplish, but like, let's definitely get that victory point. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that we get out on time. Okay, well, let's think a little shorter term. What are we doing now? You have the monster. Well, it's the rest of his turn. Oh, yeah. He so has one more, one more turn. Scott, what are you doing? Maybe I won't help you, I'm sorry. That's fine. <laughs> I'll, I can beat it. Okay. okay I, well, I'm done then. All right, I'm just waiting in the hall for the, uh, the ooze to seep in. So well, I think we could maybe get Peter, depending on if she kills the, her guy or not. Want me to give it a try? Yeah, why don't you go let's next? Let's go next. All right, so my first move I'm going to do is Vicious Blow, if, um, and I'm going to use one of my bullets. And so that's one, two, and then plus my original four is six versus the four for my Servant of the Lurker. Cool. Don't miss. Don't miss. So I'm going to use Unexpected Courage as well. Oh, okay. For two more. So now you're at plus four. That's, that's a great spot to be. Real hard to miss as I jinx it. Zero! Nice. Yay! So I add another. Yeah, so it's one damage, plus one for the gun, plus one for the vicious blow, adds three total. Adds and that three total. Means so it's down to one health. It, yes. it already had one. It's so. down to one health. All right, well, now I'm going to attack it again. Nice. I'm going to use Reckless Assault, which gives me four attacks. Yeah, because you're going insane. Because I'm going insane and I got nothing left to lose. <laughs> That's right. All right. One last damage will kill it. I'm afraid to stop. <laughs> Gotta stop sometimes. Okay. okay. I believe in you. Okay. No, don't listen to me, though. Zero. Oh, nice. Yay. So Sweet. it's dead. Finally. And That's... we get another victory point. That appeared so long ago. And yes, a victory point. Woo. Okay. Nice job. You are the source of almost every experience that we've heard. <laughs> it's from Zoe just happy and slashing. Hammering out on it. So, so math it out for me, Brandon. It's it's my turn. We don't really benefit from picking up this clue unless we're also going to go to this other room and try to clear it. Mm. I don't have a lot that's better to do because I can't help with those enemies. So maybe I'll start working on that while you guys figure out whether you can make it to your weaknesses or anything over your next couple rounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, then by that logic, sure, I'll I'll try to get this I'll try to get this clue. I am up by two against its three shroud. And minus four. I swear mm -hmm. this, this token is sticky or something. I keep mm -hmm. drawing it. Okay, I fail. For my other action, I think I'm just going to I think I'll screw playing cards. I'm gonna investigate again. <laughs> This time, minus one. I Yay! Got it. Okay, got the clue. Got a resource from Milan. And then that's gonna break even when it gets dropped in the alley, but if we also get 
the other doorway, then that'll be nice. End of my turn, I test Frozen in fear. I'm at plus one. Skull. Minus two, unless I spend two resources. I don't have the resources to do that, so I fail. I'm still frozen. Alright. <sighs> okay. Enemy phase. So I have this guy now. Yep, and it hits you immediately. Just flip. And then these spheres with Smite the Wicked on them move down. Do we want to send them to the bar or to the card room? Are these two attached to this? Yeah, they're both they're like they're and attached here and they're both attached there. We so. should send them here so that after he defeats, he can go up to Peter and not engage at them. But it would be really nice to kill this because it has your weakness on it. Well, that would be lovely, but I can I can come up to it, maybe. Oh, okay, so you're saying keep the way clear for Jenny. Keep the way clear for Jenny so she can maybe get to Peter and then we'll address, if you want to do Peter before you do your weakness, that's up to you. I don't know if we have enough. We need, you basically need to spend three actions to get Peter. So yeah. I guess it's, it's your call whether you want to get Peter or whether you want to clear your, your weakness. Okay, well, I think that that's fine. We put, uh, move the spheres to the card room. The other thing that happens in the enemy phase is Peter takes his first damage. So he's at one out of three damage. Uh, upkeep phase, but... Yes. Only you get to upkeep. <laughs> you darted in and out of the VIP room. You, you never, <laughs> you never suffered. <laughs> And now it's the Mythos face, Doom number four out of seven. Okay. Broding remains, test three will. Minus one. So only one horror, which isn't too bad. Okay. Rotting remains, <laughs> test three, ooh, I have four, okay. Yeah. Uh, for each point you fail, take one horror. So it is possible for you to die here. So why don't I actually I don't want you to go insane, so I'll give you two icons. Thank you. I'm also going to play Fearless, which if I win this skill test, I get to heal one of my horror. Great. Instead of getting one. So, <laughs> all right, let's hope I'm successful. Don't screw this up. Please stay successful. I don't want to die. Minus two. two. You're good. I'm safe, and you, I heal a horror. You heal a horror. Oh, thank you. A mobster. Okay. It's 2-2-2 two, 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 retaliate. I'm just gonna have to evade it. Why don't I start with that? I'm going to evade the mobster. Because I'm frozen in fear, it's gonna cost me two actions to attempt this. But it's four versus two. Elder sign. Have you seen this is the first one of the whole game? I think it might yes. be. Yeah. Um, plus one, after this test ends, you remove to a connecting location. So I get a free move. Great, that's awesome. Yeah, so the mobster is engaged. We'll just leave him in the VIP area. I get a free move to the dark and tall. And because that cost me two actions, that leaves me with one. You were going to go down and investigate, right? Is that the plan? I think that was your plan. I'm going to go... If you see, still want to do it. Yeah, see if I can get that victory point while you guys do all the whole, all the fighting and yeah. all that malarkey. Okay. In the third back hall doorway is the art gallery. Two shroud, three clues. Forced, after you fail a skill test while investigating the art gallery, lose two resources. And it does have a victory point. Okay. Exotic art and antiques adorn the walls of Peter Clover's private gallery. An evening breeze rustles the worn pages of a ledger back and forth. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if he's cooked in the book, because that's what I'm investigating. I'm investigating <laughs> that, that ledger. So you get a free investigation. Yeah, so I get to investigate the art gallery since I'm Ursula, I'm up by three. I succeed with a minus two. I'll get a resource and that clue. And at the end of my turn, I test Frozen in Fear. Plus one on the tests. Minus three, I fail. Still frozen. Still frozen. All right, now it is my turn. I'm going to use my first move to move up to where you are. Mm -hmm. cool. And now we have some decisions to make, folks. Um, I can, I have two moves left. Mm -hmm. I can, en have you engaged your baddie yet? He's on me. He's on you. I just haven't done anything to him yet. Um. To, to it. it. I don't know it. if you can gender the ooze. I have not done anything to the conglomeration of spheres. <laughs> I mean, it's only got one, but I have to beat it six times. Yeah. So that's two rounds. That's a lot of beating. Um. I think it can also be evaded. It's a kind of tough test, so you would. 
Oh, you've you got two, two agility. What Streetwise over there pumps your agility, right? So if you want to pour money into it, you could evade it without that much trouble. The problem is it's going to stay there and come after me again. Yeah. But if you evade it and then leave the game. True. Oh, evade it and just leave No, I'm mean, like. serious, because if he evades and leaves the game, and I spend my move, I try to get Peter, and then I make a book for the, the exit. So when it comes to Peter, if you go there alone, you pretty much have to hit like every parlay test. Okay. If I only think it's worth going for Peter if Scott's going to evade that ooze and you're both going to go contribute to that. Okay. Because then between you, you just have to pass three times. So I move there, I, I parlay it once, mm -hmm. and then the next round happens, Scott evades and comes up here, spends one move to evade, one move to move up. He hasn't gone yet, so it would be this oh, round. Oh, that would be yeah. this round. Mm -hmm. And then he could get one parlay. Yeah. And then we'd need to do it one, two more times next round? How are you feeling about willpower? Do you have icons or... It's a three willpower test. Are you even likely to pass? Right now I can get it up to four. That's not great. Or do we say screw him and we it's, all run for the hills? It's a long shot. With, with Peter, it's a gamble. We'd have to have really good luck. So the question is, do you feel lucky? <laughs> I don't feel lucky, lucky and I kind of also want to go get rid of my thing. I don't know okay. how you're gonna I don't know if you have time for that. Well, okay, hold on. So what I would do... This is the third to last round of the game. You have two more rounds, right? Yeah, two more rounds after this one. So I'd have to go one... So assuming I evaded, mm -hmm. one, two. Mm -hmm. Then the next turn, two actions do this. You'd have to be successful. Be successful. Yeah. Let's, let's just assume everything succeeds. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Evade, one, two, mm -hmm. round. One, two, one, and then I have to go one, two, and Assuming I, you're not attacked by oh, something Assuming else. I'm not yeah. attacked. Those spheres will attack you, unless yes. what Anne does right now is move in and stop them. Well, maybe I'll just try and murder some shit then. Yeah. All right, so, so... Have you gone? I haven't finished my turn yet. We gotta stay here together. I'm going to boost up my hand so that I can fight better next time. All right, so we are giving up on Peter. I think we're giving up on Peter. I want to save him so badly, but we don't have enough time. It's so hard to do. Um, so I'm going to play my 45 automatic, which costs four, and then I get four bullets. Here you go. So I'll engage. It'll take a damage because of Zoe's cross. Mm -hmm. So it's got five, but I can only do four, potentially. Mm -hmm. Well, Zoe can take the hit. Okay. If, it's, okay. if it survives the round, so I would just do as much as you can. All right, so we are going to first, we're going to attack it without looking at you with the Derringer. <laughs> just close your eyes and shoot her gentle ah. Derringer. Actually, no, we won't. We'll do this one first because I was I said I would do it first. So I'm going to play Backstab for three resources. Okay. And we'll use uh, Agility instead of Fight, and it, it the attack just does two damage. So I'm going to spend two more resources. Uh, good news for you. That deals plus two damage. Three total. Oh, so we'll do three damage total. If you hit. If I hit. But I am now going to be at uh, six. Versus one. Versus <laughs> one. It's pretty good. So even <laughs> if that minus four comes up. All right. Uh, I like this one. What? <laughs> I don't like that one. <laughs> he just backstabbed you for three damage. For three damage? The deal's plus two. Are you kidding yeah. me? Are you kidding me? Three damage. Uh-huh. Damn. That token has been the all-star all in that bag this game. Yeah. Wow, well that plan went to shit. <laughs> yeah, it did. I'm gonna do it again. Do you this have time. another backstab? No, I'm gonna oh, okay. shoot. All right. I don't think all I'll right, kill I got you. four. No, I don't I'd think I'll kill you. a lot more. I hope. We'll add this to it. So now I have four versus one. You go. get the auto fail. I will stab you for real. Elder side. Elder side. What's that? So plus one for each resource I have. I have six resources. <laughs> All right. So you pass the blind colors. So it's going to do only two damage. Okay. All right. That's something. Uh, it has three left, and you have one action left. Yes. All right. Go again. Can I add two into one? Can't three versus one. Okay. Plus one. All right. I think you even scored the extra damage. That was, uh, good. That was a good draw. Yes. 
Okay. And it has one hit point left. That's great. And that's everyone's turns, right? Yep. Okay, so the enemy engaged with you is going to attack you, Anne, for one and one. Is that right? The spheres? Yeah. One yeah. horn. Okay, one. Cool. And then the spheres that were in the card room are going to hunt and because their prey is lowest willpower, they'll engage Jenny and hit you for one and one. And that's it for the enemies, so upkeep. Hey, we're finally all out of the VIP area, at Thank least. Thank goodness. <laughs> all right, Mythos phase, five out of seven. We gotta get out. Yep. Okay. But in the meantime, rats. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> in the meantime, rats. Hunt it down. If there are no unengaged criminals, hunt it down, gain surge. If there are one or more unengaged criminals, enemies in play, each one of them moves one location. Eat, so. Well, there is a monster. Okay. So it's going to move towards you, and then it, if it engages you, it attacks you now, I think. But the question is, does it engage Scott and becomes the third enemy on Scott? No. Or, or does it engage you and it will... Be the second. Do a damage to you. What's the damage? It's just one damage. That's... Oh, and after it attacks you, you lose one resource. So okay. it also is a resource. You're taking it? Yeah. Okay. So, would you like to... Yes, would you like I to... would like to use Zoe's Cross. Okay. So, a damage to the monster. That's and nice. So that's my resource that I would have gained from it engaging me. Mm -hmm. um, and then I lose one resource because the monster, the attacked, monster attacked me. Okay. Rotting remains for me. Okay, I'm at plus one for the tests. Minus two, I fail by one and take a horror. I'll put it on Dr. Milan. Okay, so my plan is still, is get those two clues and basically get the hell out. Yep. You guys, what are you trying to do? I need to finish beating these and get the hell out. Yeah, ultimately, the, the only one that we care about killing is, is the one with, with your Smite the Wicked on yep. it, huh? which is fresh and full health. Yes. And the other ones we could just as, be just as happy to evade and leave. But I mean, at this point, evading and killing is the same. Yeah. And this is evading and killing is the same. Good point. You might as well kill them. Might as well kill them. Okay. Uh, would you like to go first then? Sounds like you got a plan. So I guess I'll do my mobster okay. first, which I just need one hit. Mm -hmm. um, are you going to use a bullet or are you going to punch it? If I use a bullet, I'll use a bullet. Okay, that puts yeah. you at plus three yeah. because you, the gun gives you plus one. Yeah. I'll use a bullet and then, and you know, I can't, I'm just, I'm going to really go for it. Sure. I'm going to use a fight icon. Okay. And so that gives me one, two, and my existing four, so six versus two. Okay, that's as good as you can get. Zero. Nice. Monster's dead. Monster's dead. And then I'm going to use another bullet to fight this guy. So that gives me five versus one. Mm -hmm. Oh. Elder Sign. Yeah, what's that do? Um, Elder Sign plus one if the skill test is successful during an attack, the attack deals plus one damage. Oh, so you overkill this thing. I overkill <laughs> him. Nice. Boom, 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 he's dead. One action left. And with that action, I'm going to take a shot at his, or does that engage it? No, that doesn't engage it. Um, yeah, I think shooting it is fine. You, you risk hitting him in the face. I believe in you. Okay. But yeah, that's a one difficulty. Um, can I yeah, use, I'm going to fire a bullet, so mm -hmm. hopefully I'll hit him twice. So it's five versus one? Yeah. I believe you. Minus one, so I kill it. Nice. Or I hit it. So for two damage. Cool. And that's the end of my turn. Uh, so my first one, I will use spend a bullet. So that will get me plus two. And yeah, that's pretty good. I still win. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, How takes two damage? You just need to shoot him one more time. I can't. I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. Yeah. You can punch it twice. <laughs> Do I just try to punch it twice? Either way. I'll punch it twice. Okay. No. Minus, yeah. Wow, minus four will, will fail. So wait, before you pull, should you... Should yeah. you do that this round, or yeah. should he... Now that you can't kill the spheres, why don't you do the rats? rats. Yeah. Minus one. Yeah. That'll kill them. Okay. 
Well, th three out of four of your enemies in the hallway. That's Not good. Bad. And now you've got to do it. Yeah, so I'm actually... This frozen in fear is really sucking. I think I have to give up on these clues because it's the only way I can make it out in time with frozen in fear making movement, take an extra action. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because if I spend this turn getting these clues, next turn, if I, if I still have frozen in fear, I would go like one, two, three, and not have an action to resign. So I'm frustrated to give up on the victory point, but yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna head towards the, the alley. So I'm gonna move for two actions because frozen fear, and move with my third action and just end in the back alley. And then I'll test frozen fear. If I pass, this is gonna be mad because that means I could have, mm -hmm. could have stayed. I don't know. Oh, auto fail. Yeah, we're fine. You yeah. made the right choice. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh no, and auto fail triggers the uh, end of my Chthonian stone, so the cultist goes back in the bag. Uh, Bad luck. Um, enemy phase, it's just gonna be the spheres hitting you for one and one, Scott. Yep. Mm -hmm. No other enemies. Upkeep. Upkeep. Mythos phase. Oh, oh I don't know how we're gonna do this. Okay, this is six out of seven. So we have to beat it this round? We want to, we need to resign this round. Okay. This we is gonna be it. tricky. We can do it. I don't know if we can do it. Well, no, we each are one move from there. So it's, I can engage yeah. it. When I engage kill. it, it kills it. And then I can uh, move. It's, it no, takes two damage to kill it. Well, I can still do it. Maybe, no. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to just shoot it and then move resign. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, anyway. We can do it. Anyway, All right. Scott. I can beat it. Distant okay. voices. I uh, cannot play assets or events. Thank God I didn't get that. <laughs> and curse lock. Put a curse lock into play. This is fine. You get minus one skill when you are um, fighting things. That's fine. And I found a twist of fate. I'm gonna reveal a token. A minus one is take one damage. That I am totally fine with. Okay. So here's my thoughts. I'm gonna take a shot at it. And if I don't kill it, I have to go resign. You can try and invade it and then he can go resign if I don't kill it. All right, so I'm gonna go first. I'm going to use a bullet. Last one. Pew, fire it at it. Um, which gives me five versus one. Or four versus one because I lose. Yes, thank you. yeah, yeah, the curse lock. Zero. Oh, good. So. All right, the spears are dead. The spears are dead. And your curse is done. Yeah, my smite, curse is smite the wicked. I, I didn't. I thought you were both going to get trauma. I'm surprised that we got either of your <laughs> <laughs> so that worked well. You have two actions. And two, so two I'm gonna move. Okay. And resign. Okay, you're out. I'm out. Uh, yes, I will. I'll eat my trauma. Yeah. Move and resign. And Peter died, by the way. Oh, Hi, yeah. Peter. Yeah, I almost, for, almost forgot. Peter's long gone. And so I resigned. Would you like to finish up that bandwagon? I better resign. Annoyingly, when I resign, my two clues drop on the alley. And I'll get out. That was our objective, right? Yep. If each investigator, if each undefeated investigator has resigned in advance, Escaping the club. You make your way toward the rain-slicked streets of Arkham. If an investigator resigned with Peter Clover under his or her control, we would read one resolution. Otherwise, we're going to read another. All right. So, R1. You flee to the end of the block and pause to recover. Before you can catch your breath, the ground shakes with a thunderous crash. People emerge from their homes and storefronts to see what the ruckus is. And a crowd forms on the street. You head to the front of the crowd and are horrified to see the building from which you fled just minutes earlier reduced to rubble. There is no sign of Dr. Morgan anywhere. In your campaign log, record that the O'Banion gang has a bone to pick with the investigators. <laughs> In your campaign log, record that Dr. Francis Morgan was kidnapped. Over two. <laughs> it's good, it's good, it's good. <laughs> I don't know if we ever would have found him, though, just based on what was given to us. Yeah, it actually, I believe, was not possible to find him if, you, if we play this scenario second. Oh, okay. Yeah. If any player cheated, add one Elder Thing token to the Chaos Bag for the remainder of the campaign. Oh. Karma's a bitch. Damn. 
Should have should have went and got drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got, you got good use out of the cheating though. You, you got a lot of clues and resources. That's true. But yeah, we'll be we'll be paying the price for that <laughs> for the next six games. Oh no. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. That is two enemies, thank you, Zoe. And the VIP area for three. Awesome. Okay. And if this is the first scenario of the campaign, proceed to extracurricular activity. But it's not, we already played that. Otherwise, proceed to interlude one, Armitage's fate. Okay. So before we go, we're going to go ahead and take care of the interlude. Would you like to do some reading? Sure. Uh, it says, um, since the investigators were not unconscious at any point. <laughs> All right. So, uh, read Armitage's fate two. Armitage's fate two. When you arrive at Dr. Armitage's house, in Southside, you find him sitting at his desk, pale-faced and sweating with worry. He is grateful to see he is grateful to you for searching for his colleagues, but he doesn't look relieved. With a long pause, he straightens his glasses and explains. I'm afraid I must apologize. There's something I didn't mention to you earlier. Dr. Armitage then spins a tale you would scarcely believe had you not been for the harrowing experiences earlier that night. In your companion log, record the investi- <laughs> Cam Campaign log. <laughs> what a companion? <laughs> In your campaign log, record the investigators rescue Dr. Henry Armitage. Any one investigator may choose to add Dr. Henry Armitage to his or her deck. This card does not count towards the investigator's deck size. It can be found in Armitage's fate in encounter set, indicated by this icon. The story continues in scenario two, the Miskatonic Museum. All right, so in between games when we upgrade our decks, we'll also take a look at that card. And before we start next time, we'll, we'll, we'll let the viewers know if anyone decided to add him to their deck. How, yeah, how do you feel? This one didn't go quite as smoothly as extracurricular activity. But it didn't go terrible. I, I we got out. We got out. <laughs> the building didn't collapse on us. Only one of us is cursed, which I think... Which we can heal. Yeah, you are going to take a trauma for not searching for AZ. Yeah. But, man, I don't know how we could have done it. It's a miracle we all got out. Yeah. Because then it would have been seven, and then we would have rotated it, and it was the end of the game. Yeah, and immediately after we left, the building collapsed, so it probably would have been worse to be in there. I think it would have been worse to be in there. And hey, we had alcohol. <laughs> That's true. It would have been worse to be in there. <laughs> I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. And be happy with our choices. <laughs> and cheers mm. to that. <laughs> Thank you all for sticking with us. Can't always go as smoothly as it did last time, but we will be back again soon with the Miskatonic Museum scenario. See you guys then. See ya. Until next time, be optimal. <laughs>